welcome to World War G. I'm Troy. No more palm fronds, Troy. Now we are the pharaohs. I'm AJ. AJ, what kind of name is AJ? Oh, you race cars? All right. We can't we can't mess around. We can't dawdle. We can't fart around. No, no. We got too much show we got to get to, so let's just get right into it. Let's cram it all in. Um, and we're going to do first today in geek history. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's today in geek history. So I've got two not so nerdy knickknacks and one that's going to be really near and dear to your heart. Okay. Today, um, April 18th in 1775, mm -hmm. Paul Revere began his famous ride from Charleston to Lexington. Okay. Red coats are coming. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That, I feel like there's more to that story there that is. you don't really like hear too much about, but like that's the most notable thing. Yeah, right? he was he was one of several people that made that ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, for some reason though, we just remember him. Yeah, that's history for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> um. So, in 1934, April 18th, mm -hmm. the first laundromat was called. A Washington, or let's see, Washington area, and it was opened in Fort Worth, Texas. Huh. Okay. Oh, Washateria. Oh, oh, Washateria. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever used a laundromat before? Oh, yes. For for some time. Oh yeah. When uh, back when I was a very poor, um, married, newly married person. <laughs> Before we could afford a wash and dryer, we went to laundromats. Any crazy stories? No, Ran I actually... Any homeless people? Well, yeah. It is uh -huh. Ogden. <laughs> but I actually enjoyed going to laundromats by myself. It's kind of a chance to just, like, smell fresh clothes and mm -hmm. read a book or do yeah. listen to music. Bring the laptop, you know, bring a couple bucks so we can get, like, a drink and, like, a candy bar and just relax for a couple hours. It's kind of yeah. nice. Yeah. Very therapeutic. Mm. I love the smell of laundry, and I don't mind doing it. I just hate putting it away. That's the ugh, that just bugs the hell out of me. I do it like today, like an hour before you get here. So <laughs> I find put my laundry away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I yeah. need to do that. Yeah, I I usually have to watch the show now. I'll like throw on something on Netflix. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got have something planned. For sure. Okay, so here is a really good one though. In 1938, Superman, aka the Man of Steel, made his debut first issue action uh, in Action Comics, mm -hmm. bearing a cover date of June, which went for a whopping ten cents a copy. Yep. In 2014, a nearly flawless original copy was sold on eBay for guess how much? Uh, one point three million. Two point five. Three point two. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Three point two million. I have to get you into that, like that mindset of trivia here. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny because we actually have a story very similar to that coming up. All right. That record's been broken. Seriously. Yep. Oh wow. Like as far as like oh, I guess we'll just wait and see. We'll wait. Yeah, yeah. So there you have it. Nice. Today in geek history. So it's a red letter day in Superman history. It really is. Uh, 18th. So speaking of which, our next segment. Getting ready. You getting ready? Gotta stretch. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Working up. Okay. So. Wait. Is, it's time for. Do you even know? Oh! Woohoo! Troy Wood. Come on down. Woo! Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. So. In lieu of that Superman story, and yep. kind of like in honor of it, it's going to be a Superman. It's going to be a Superman themed. Is it really? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I thought I'd make it a little bit trickier. Be, I mean, it's there are definitely questions you're going to get for sure. Like some of them, I don't know. It could go either way, but I figured I don't think you really need to like an A, B, C, or D. Because it's Superman, but well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but before we start, though, we are playing, or I'm playing for our patron Emily. Yes, for a twenty-five dollar Visa 
gift card. If I get, how many questions do you have? Uh, 10. 10. So if you get five. If I get five or more right, Emily will get the gift card. So far, we are three of three Yes. in the win column. I, and I feel like coming up, we might have to have like our Patreons like come on to the show. Right? That yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe have them play or something. Yeah? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah. I got some ideas. So, should we just get right into it? Let's get right into it. Okay. Question number one. Yes. How many basic colors of kryptonite are there? Okay. There is green, red, uh blue. Um, is there purple? It might be purple or yellow. Oh, crap. I'm going to say, I'm going to say six. Okay. Final answer. Yes. Uh, <sighs> sorry. There's five. Oh, I even counted five. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I was like, oh, he counted five. And then going with six. Oh, Crap. shoot. Okay. Going outside the normal basic five colors, there are actually 11 different colors of kryptonite, but the um, last six don't show up that often. So as far as the originals, there's five. <sighs> Does it tell you what colors they are? Uh, it does not. Okay. But like I would have I, I'm almost certain that it's gonna be green, red, yellow, blue, blue. I wanna say let's see. Green, red, yellow, blue. I wanna say purple, right? I would imagine. I would guess. I would guess purple. Okay. Number two. Who is considered to be Superman's first First, super villain. Superman's first super villain. Yes. I might have needed a multiple choice on these. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and do that. Is it... Let's see. Is it A, Lex Luthor, B, Batman, C, Ultra Humanite, or D, Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Please, Superman! <laughs> there might have been a crossover, or that'd be kind of an interesting <laughs> one. Roger Rabbit gets, like, you know, ab <laughs> abilities. Um, I don't believe it's Lex Luthor. I think he came a little later. He wasn't his first. Ultra Humanite? When did he come around? I don't know if he's... Batman. It could be Batman. Could be Batman. I'm going to go... I'm going to go with my gut. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to say Batman. Final answer? Yeah. Uh, oh, is it ultra humanite? Yeah. God. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't think that that was a good, like, I don't know, pick when I threw in Batman just there. Okay. So the original ultimate humanite was introduced into action comics in number 13, who met his end in action comics number 21 Son by taking a swan dive into a volcano. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Number three. Yeah. Man, this is for a family member, too. I right? know. It's Superman and a family <laughs> member. I am humiliating uh, myself. Sorry. Okay. Number three. Yeah. What's the first newspaper company Clark Kent worked for? There was what it was like originally, like what it was called, uh -huh. like that it's called now, but what was it originally? What's right. the, yeah. Because it's the Daily Planet. That's what it's called now. Correct. Originally, though, it was not called the Daily Planet. Correct. It was called the, the Daily Reporter. Okay, so is it A, 
The Daily, let's see, <sighs> The Daily Sun, is it B, The Daily Star, is it C, The Daily Reporter, or D, The Daily, uh, The Daily News? Uh, the Daily Sun. Final answer. Yes. And Go, come on! <laughs> the Daily Star. Even <laughs> wow. though it is later <laughs> known as the Daily Planet in Action Comics number one, he worked for the Daily Star. This is humiliating. I'm so sorry, Troy. I thought like, I'm like, this is a layup. This is easy. This is going to be, yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's not having choices. That's what's blow. That's what's killing me here because i need something to like jog my memory anyway yeah. that's fine go ahead okay. continue sorry you're, you're good okay number four what color of kryptonite is harmless to superman but deadly to super um super bizarro okay okay hang on hang on uh well let me give you some options here no yeah no. i don't need options okay all right so green obviously is going to kill him right uh, red, I think, makes him angry. Okay. Um, uh, there's black kryptonite. That does something to him. I think it's blue. Blue kryptonite. Okay. Doesn't do anything to him, but it hurts Bizarro. Final answer? Mm, yes! You'd be correct! Yo, finally! <laughs> Nice. Blue kryptonite is an imperfect duplicate of green kryptonite manufactured by Superman using a duplicate array <sighs> machine. I'm sweating. Okay, I got one. Great. Okay. Yeah, I, I, th I think you'll you'll pick it up here. Like we got the momentum going now. At least if I would be very upset if I didn't get any. If I got a fat <laughs> zero, yeah, I'd like, be well, very upset. But we're in the podcast early. Yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Tear down all this stuff, throw away all my toys, and cry in shame. Question number five. Yes. Who is the editor of the Daily Planet? Perry White. Final answer. Final answer. You be correct, sir. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Well okay. Done. Okay. Two. Woo. You got two. Pick up speed. Here we go. Two, three, four. You got five questions left. I got this. Yeah. I got easy. this. Easy. Easy. Okay, question number six. Yeah. Batman and Superman had their first team up doing what? This is in Superman Volume 1, number 76, in case you're wondering. <laughs> first team up doing what? I'm going to need some options, I'm afraid. Okay. Is it A, fighting Lex Luthor, B, Going on a vacation cruise. Vacation cruise. Final answer. Final answer? Yep. That would be correct, yes. sir. Yeah. yeah. I knew it had something to do with a boat. Uh, I knew they were on a boat. They were both on a boat, hanging out, and then, like, shit hit the fan. Yep. They had to team up. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Both... Oh, let's see. Both needed some downtime. Bruce and Clark uh, separately boarded the cruise ship. They found themselves as roommates due to overcrowding, then partnered up in crime fighting. I remember that. Okay. I think I've actually read that comic. Yeah. Number seven. So when that was, see, you've got three, right? I got three. Okay, you got three. <laughs> yep. Question number seven. Who does Lois Lane leave Clark, or why does Lois Lane leave Clark on their first date? Okay. I'm going to need some options, please. Is it A, he was a coward, B, he had to, like, help out his mother, C, Lex Luthor, I don't know, <laughs> you can tell that's not one of them, that's not going to be one of them. I don't know, I should have, like, thought of some other ones. Um, or is it, let's see, okay, so, A, Man, I'm not good at coming up on these on the spot. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I'm going to say because he was a coward. That would be correct, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Clark doesn't want to give away his um, tremendous strength, so he notably like lets a bully like beat up on him at a dance. Lois runs off saying that he's a spineless un um. He's a spineless coward. To be fair, that's probably what I would, I would have said anyway, because that was kind of his go-to excuse back in the early days when, yeah. he, had to, when he had to leave. Okay. Question number eight. So you've got, what, four? Four. Okay. Oops. Need one more. Okay. Got three more to go. You're good. Question number eight. Yeah. What is the correct original spelling of the imp from the fifth dimension who uh, oh, pesters crap. Superman from time to time. So Mr. Mixoplick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you spell Mixoplick? <sighs> okay. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to write this down. Hang on. Okay. Uh, X. Throwing a couple other random letters. Mix Mixo <laughs> Mixo Plick P Mixo P L. I suck at spelling, so I would I totally know I'd get this this wrong. K. Ooh, I don't think that's right. Um, Mr. Mixoplick. See, there's several ways that they've actually said his name. There's Mixoplick. There's Mixopitalic. There's Mixispitlick. Uh, I'll give it to you. It, like, it's the first one. It's Mixoplick. Yep, correct. <sighs> I know there's like a bunch of... Like, there's like a silent Q or an X or Z somewhere. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's hear it. Um... Okay, question. Because this is such a strange word. Yes. If I get. No, you have to get the spelling, dude. I have to get the spelling. Yep. Yeah. Yep. For sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. M Y X L P L I K. Mixoplick. Oof. I'm sorry. Uh... You like, because you use it in a sentence. Okay. <laughs> How do you spell it? M X Y Z P T L K. Well, that's stupid. Yeah, it really is. Now get them to say it backwards and send them back to the fifth dimension. So tipsy them. <laughs> Remember that from the Superman animated series. Yeah, and Gilbert <laughs> Godfrey was Mixer, Mr. Mixoplay. All right, two to go. We just need one. You've got this. Spell Mixoplay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. This is a trivia show, not a not a spelling bee. <laughs> what the hell? I was told there would be no math. All right. Number nine. What is the name of Superman's Kryptonian uncle? You know I'm no good with Superman's genealogy. <laughs> uh, I know it's L. It's something L. Uh... Okay, give me a second. Kal El is him. Jor El is his dad. Is it? Com I don't want. I don't want to give you any suggestions. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get. Let me. I'm coming up with some different ones here for you. I'm looking at my tin picture I have here. Oh no, you're good. You can. You can get okay. some inspiration. Okay. So, is it A, Corel, okay. B, Zor, let me write, A, B, e, C, D, okay, cool. Is it A, Corel, B, Gorel, C, Zorel, or D, ZL? Corel, Gorel, Zorel, or ZL? The only ones that sound familiar are Corel and Zorel. Okay. Zorel. Zorel. That sounds really familiar. Zorel. I'm gonna go with C. Zorel. Final answer. Yes. You would be correct. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! That's five. Okay. Woo! Okay, I did it. Emily got her gift card. We're four for four. Okay, uh, inhabitants of Argo City, Zorel, and his family 
survived the explosion of Krypton by um, creating a dome to protect the city, which then drifted through space for the next 20 years. Mm. He's got so many relatives. Yeah, that around whole there. last son of Krypton thing, that was thrown out the window 40 <laughs> years ago. There's yeah. so many Kryptons floating around the universe. Okay, just for... Just for pride. For pride? Just for pride. Question number 10. Yep. Who played Superman on Lois and uh, Lois and Clark: The Adventures of Superman? Dean Cain. That would be correct. Yeah. There you go. See, you came back. I came back. Yeah, I came back. I'm like, I wanted to make him a little somewhat tricky, but I didn't want to like, I don't know, make yeah. it too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Whew. Still freshen up on your 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 Superman. <laughs> I know. I man. <laughs> Um, so, and kryptonite, there's green kryptonite, red kryptonite, gold kryptonite, okay, blue kryptonite, white kryptonite, platinum kryptonite, yellow kryptonite, black, synthetic kryptonite, silver kryptonite, there's all kind, pink kryptonite. Eleven different ones, apparently. Purple kryptonite. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. There's mango kryptonite. Seriously? Yeah. Sounds delicious. It tracks objects from Krypton. It apparently affects people from Krypton as well, and not even the strength of Superman or Bizarro can escape. <laughs> Mango Kryptonite. Mango Kryptonite. Wouldn't that be kind of a cool uh, thing for a Superman-themed bar? Mango Kryptonite? No, you have different Kryptonites. Oh, like, yeah. They'd be like different drinks or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different shots? Yeah, give me a, give me a green Kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> give, me a, give me a gold Kryptonite. Could be like... Gold little flakes, yeah. like little like I don't know Bacardi that's got gold flakes in it mm. or something, yeah. right? I don't know, like that gold schlager, isn't that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Nah. I'm just glad that I won. I pulled it out. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. I you made the it. sound effect, dude. <laughs> All right, let's get to uh, Troy's toys. Yes. Okay. You'd already sent me a text earlier this week that you said, dude, I've got a really good one. So I've been waiting this whole entire week for it. Like, let's see it. Whip it out, Troy. Oh, damn. That's what she said. Yes. Uh, so I go to Walmart occasionally. And the first thing I do is go to um, the toy section. It's really funny. I go to the movies. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. awesome. And so I was looking around to see if they got something new. And I got to say, the Transformers War of Cybertron line that they have right now yeah. is probably the best toy line out there at Seriously? the moment. Yeah. So I got um, Megatron from Beast Wars. And man, first of all, that thing is a bitch to transform. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Cause... I had to get on YouTube and watch a how-to video. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah, you have to turn them sideways, then you have to do this, then you have to flip them over like this. Yeah. So here's there's like there's like forty steps to it, huh? Pretty much. There's the box, so you kind of see what it looks like. That's as... a solid, hefty box. Yeah, it's a T Rex. Yeah. But yeah, um, I haven't seen a lot of Beast Wars toys out there. No, like, neither have I. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Like there was a bunch when it first when the um. TV series first came out. And if you don't know, Beast Wars was a TV series that came out back in the mid nineties. Oh, it's very near and dear to my heart. Yes, it is. It's a computer animated, uh, series, very early computer animation. Um, and it's about the trans, these transformers that came from Cybertron to earth, like prehistoric earth. And instead of being vehicles, they, transform into animals right whatever they scan and whatever they scan first yeah and so megatron um who's actually named after the original megatron um scanned a fossil or bones of a t-rex and so that's his beast mode beast mode but yeah, this is a really good looking figure. That was always my favorite part when you would have like this pod that was land on Earth and you were wondering what it was going to be and who yeah. was going to be this new yeah, creature, yeah. you know, and wh who which side was going to get mm -hmm. to at first because like you would think one way and like, oh no, it's a good guy. Oh no, it's a bad guy, you know. But it's There's some suspense. 
It's a really hefty figure. It is, yes. Um, and it seems like his original, like his original suit, because he later on did get all metallic. Yeah, and have yeah, like yeah, those yeah. Um, jet packs on the side of him that would flip out. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of his late of their later. Uh, I liked Rat Trap. Forms. He looked pretty cool with the where he's a vehicle. Yeah, but yeah, for the most part, it was. I just like the original flavor, but um, and he's probably what. Nine, eight, nine inches tall. Yeah, like looks that. about right. <laughs> Just eyeballing it. It's about right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they put so much detail into this. I mean, he's got the... Watch, he's only like four or five. <laughs> he's, I'll explain a few things. He's got the scales. Uh, they got the color right with the purple. They they really did. Yeah. yeah. Um, a lot of the times when you get, tro- uh, like, you get different toys... Um, you you feel like you have to do like some touch up work to it or make it look, but this already looks really legit. Yes. Yep. Um, and I really like the sculpt of the head of the T Rex. I think that looks really good. Same. Um. Yeah. It's just it's just a really He's very posable. Yes. Very posable. Several points. I mean, dozens of points of articulation. But I like how he's weighted. In a such a way that you can actually like have them crouch, or you can have them standing upright, and you kind of kind of have them leaning forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will say the one thing that's problematic about this toy, and I've done some research and looked at some reviews. A lot of people have had the same complaints. His joints to transform are really really tight, mm-hmm. so he's very hard to like pull up, especially this groin area right here. Yeah, he's it's really re- tight in the groin. He's very tight in the groin. <laughs> And it's very hard to pull his legs apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, Saving himself for marriage. <laughs> but other than that, once you can get that going, um, and like I said, I, I imagine after time, it'll kind of like, you know, like kind of like be easier. Loosen up a little it, bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and I like I said, I did transform him. Maybe I'll transform him again and take a picture and throw it up on our Facebook page so you can see. But it takes it, t- it takes a while to transform. I'm not gonna lie. Twenty seven steps. Yeah. Yeah. Like I most of the time with transformers, you can. It's kind of like a Rubik's cube type of thing, where if you, you mess around it with out. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mess around with it a much, you can. You can transform it eventually. Not this, the one, case with this one, not so much. No. Like I said, I had to go find a how to video. This is oh eight plus, so you have to le- at least be eight years old. Yeah. Well. Um, but I, I'm, I've always been impressed by how they're able to, to do these or just create these transformer toys. Oh, same. It's, it's impressive. Yeah. It's like, how do you think of, oh, Hey, if we do this and flip mm-hmm. it over here, it's like, well, if we put his head down here, we can put this part up here and then separate his torso and twist that around. Yeah. It's I mean, th- they've been doing it for years now that it's gotten a little bit easier, the yeah. process, but still. Yeah. So this is Megatron. It's these Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron trilogy. Um, so do they have like, that's why I was looking to see if they have more. Cause I, I would, uh, yeah, I would like some of the other ones. They have Dinobot. Okay. Uh, and it was a real toss up, which one to get. I sat there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> it was like, so one choice. in each hand. I'm like, which one do I get? Are you able to say price tag range? Like between like the, this one was close to 50. Okay. Transformers have always been expensive. Oh yeah, absolutely. Even if you go to buy them now, like online. Yeah. They're still like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. Dinobot was a little cheaper. I think he was around between the 20 and 30 range, mm-hmm. but yeah, this one's a bit more on the expensive side. Um, do they have like Cheetor? They didn't. Really? They have, they have like small, like four inch versions. Mm-hmm. They had like Cheetor and, and oh, Rat the Trap. Whole and, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But as far as the actual, but like, like the, these big boys here, they, as far as I saw, they just had Megatron and what Dinobot. What was the name of that one, uh, lobster crab dude? <sighs> he kind of like came into the show later on. But um, he was ginormous, but he turned into a tank. Oh, what was his name? All right, guys, that's it. We're going to stop it right there. Yes, I know. I mean, but if you want to hear the rest of the episode, head to patreon.com slash world war G and sign up with us 
for as little as a dollar a month. All right. Thanks for listening, guys.